international officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Second referee, Mr. Joshua Garcia. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Chocomucho Flying Titans. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number 14, Isabel Beatriz De Leon. At number three, Maria Dina Isabel Wong. Wearing jersey number four, Caitlin Virai. At number 11, Aduki Christine Ogunsanya. Number 18, Cherry Ann Rondina. And number 21, Regine Ann Arrocha. Starting libero is number 13, Denise Michelle Revilla. Head coach, Mr. Dante Alin Sonorin Jr. Calling on the gallery's tower high risers. Team captain wear jersey number 17, Fen Emnas. At number 9, Audrey Catherine Paran. Wearing jersey number 14, Andrea Marzan. Number 15, Rapril Aguilar. At number 16, Noriel Ipak. And number 23, Roma Joy Dormal. Starting libero is number 4, Sherilyn Jane Sendaya. Head coach, Miss Lerma Hiron. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Presenting the starters for Choco Mucho, we have Cici Rodina, Duque Ogunsanya, Regina Rocha, Bea De Leon, Dina Wong, Caitlin Beray, and Denden Lazaro Revilla. And as for Gallery Tower, we have Rap Rap Aguilar, Andrea Marzan, Audrey Paran, Julia Ipak, Ben Emnas, RJ Doromal, and Che Sindayan. Those are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL via the Filipinas Live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for four or for 149 pesos only. Thank you for joining us as we come to you live from the Santa Rosa City Sports Complex in Laguna. The PBL Tour continues for our All-Filipino Conference. Now, why don't we talk about the starters of Choco Mucho because we are seeing a couple of changes. What's the biggest difference for you? Well, uh, definitely Avarocha starting for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. And Caitlin Virai also starting as the opposite. We've talked about this earlier, uh, whether it's going to be Caitlin Virai or Kat Delentino. But again, you mentioned regardless who is their opposite in any game, uh, any of them are capable of really scoring. As a service error, is given to us by CC Rondina off of her point. Why don't we give a shout out to Des Cheng so she can uh, get well soon because of her recent injury, no? So this gives light to Regina Rocha to step up for Choco Mucho. It's now Audrey Paran who will be serving for Gallery Tower. This team is still looking for its first victory in the conference. Back set to Kate. That's long. Uh, but uh, right now, the high risers uh, getting some treats from the heirs of the Chocomocha Flying Titans. Talking about the high risers, it's very important for them to get everyone involved as uh, they are playing against a good blocking team and also a team that is uh, has a lot of players who are actually high scoring attackers. Well, if you think about the statistics for Gallery Tower, we talked about their leading scorers in Epoch and Demi Pacas, but their totals are not really that high. Is that a testament of their balance? As Caitlin Virai scores, why don't you answer that question later on? Because right now we're going to listen in to Jaime Escalon. 
Mixed in a yell, you know, before the game, I had a nice conversation with Rap Aguilar. And sabi niya sa akin, one thing she absolutely hates is making excuses. So despite the galleries only being together for less than a month, sabi niya, well, that's not an excuse to try to win every single game. That's the type of winning mentality she learned from eight years in Signal. Hopefully transformed now into culture for her new team. Now continue to watch Rap Aguilar in the Filipinos Live app for 149 pesos. Mixed in a yell? Oh, yeah, assume you yourself, a yell, were able to experience the leadership of Rap Rap Aguilar back in the day? Well, definitely one of the reliable leaders also as a veteran. But uh, to answer your question earlier, you know, they have Pactres and Ipak as their leading scorers. But, you know, it, it's not enough for them yet to get any set. So they need to find a way to convert their points. They're good in defense. They have the first ball, but they need to find a way to get everyone else involved as uh, they will become very predictable if it's only going to be Ipak and Pactres all throughout in today's game. But for Caitlin Beray, that was a good way of trying to expose the defense of Gallery Tower in that sequence. And that was a bit late for that ball. Oh, actually, a uh, smart move there going for that long drop in zone 2. Service for Kate. There's the receive. Doromal will attack. That's going to work for RJ. Oh, Doromal definitely a uh, bright spot also on the side of the high risers. A uh, very reliable opposite attacker, a lefty. And she's had to adjust quickly, no? as Jaime mentioned, only one month of training for Gallery Tower. And she also transitioned from being a beach volleyball player. It's now four serving three. The high risers looking good here. Dina Wong opens up. Arocha, that's outside. Again, right now, uh, Choco Mooch of Flying Titans uh, giving away a lot of uh, free points uh, to the high risers uh, by committing a lot of attack errors. Two-point advantage for Gallery Tower. Normal, straight to CC. Dina will go to the quick. Ball red. Here's RJ from the back. Dina Wong, one, two. Great defense by Sindayan. Nice rally, Dino Wong again. There was a violation. Uh, Dino Wong there could not uh, control her momentum. Well, scraping the net with that one two play. Is it actually common for you to try to do the one two in consecutive sequences? Every time that there's an overpass, uh, almost an overpass, there's always that tendency of the setters to, you know, decide whether to go for a one-two play or whether to still set it. Well, it has worked from time to time for Dina Wong already in her career. As Wong sets up, Caitlin Birai, that's outside again. Boy, what a start for Gallery Tower. Well, you did mention it's been the errors of Choco Mucho as well. No, but also High Riser is a solid underfloor defense so far, really guarding the right zones and angles. Now we have the first challenge of this game. Was there a block touch? Mataas, no? That should be a no. So the challenge would be unsuccessful for Choco Mucho. Oh, that was uh, tough uh, to see also from their angle, definitely. Here see Coach Dante Ellen Sunurin not looking happy with their start. One person is happy though, and that's their libero, Itang Ponce. Kahit may six errors sila, sabi niya sa teammates niya, pakita mo kung sino ka. Here's Caitlin Birai. Nice dig by RJ. Dino Wong to try to counter. Pipe attack. That's low. Mm -hmm. oh, that, that's, that's the seventh air already of uh, the Tokomutsu Flying Titans. And uh, the set is just starting. Uh, Titans are uh, struggling to find their flow here in this first set. Seven out of the eight points of galleries mm -hmm. having been uh, gimmies. 
from the Titans. Eight serving three. That's obviously short from RJ. A oh, chance here for the Tokomucha Flying Titans uh, to get some momentum going. That was the first error on the other end for Gallery Stower as he got to look at Des Cheng. And was Isa Molde there as well, wearing a face mask? He, she did come off of uh, some sickness, no? so we might not expect her to play today. Here's RJ from the back. With the help of the net, she almost scored. CC Rondina with the off speed. And as chases and sets, that's tough wrap up. A chance for Choco Mucho. Rondina again! Off of the blockers. A much needed point for the Flying Titans to keep them going in this first set. Uh, CC Rondina maximizing that. Uh, Loose block of uh, Julia Ipak. So that follows the opening point of CC. It's now 5 to 8. Regina Rocha starting in today's game ahead of Des Cheng. Here's RJ from the back. Dina Wong looks and sets to the middle. Nice dig again. Net violation. Oh, Doromal actually in the right position to get that dig. Oh, but Aguilar there. Clear touch. Clear touch. Big serving eight now, Regine Arocha. Once upon a time, she actually was a staple in the starting mm -hmm. unit of Choco Mucho. And you know, again, we've talked about that. Uh, Choco Mucho having a really deep bench. Rap, rap. Nice idea there. Aguilar again. CC dug it up. Arocha from the back. Audrey puts it up. Battle of the net. And it's won by Choco Mucho. Oh, Fem Hemna's trying to extend there, but not enough for her to control her momentum. And now it looks like Gallery Stower will be challenging that net touch. It's a challenge. Let's see. So yes, there was a net touch. All right, so two unsuccessful challenges to open up our game in Santa Rosa. But just like that, no, bilis makabawi ng Choco Mucho. A tighter start here in uh, this first set as both teams still trying to find their flow, still uh, trying to find uh, their rhythm uh, from defense to offense. Seven serving eight, Regine Arocha with the honors. That's low. That's the third service error of Choco Mucho in this match. And their total errors, let me do the math. It's eight out of the nine points of Gallery Tower. Now both teams exchanging service errors here in the start of the set. Second service error now for Gallery Tower. You think there could be a factor of uh, the new venue or the crowd here in Santa Rosa? No, no, well, it could be, but also it could just be that day. You know, you, as an athlete, as right. a team, there's always that day that. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if our teams can pick things up. Here's Audrey Paran. Try to go cross. Duki was there. Dino Wong. The CC, nice dig by Juju Katindig from the back of speed, and it works for Rap Rap. Aguilar oh, there with some vet moves, not forcing that attack, but just spinning that ball in, but smarting the floor defense of the Chokomucho Flying Titans. Hole in the middle, found by Rap Rap Aguilar. It's 10 serving 8. Here's Julia Ipak. 18 points entering this matchup. That's across three games. Top scorer of the high risers alongside Dimi Pakres. 
Ang Ponce to CC. Nice approach. Tough dig. And Nas will go to Paran. And her cross works. And this is what we talked about earlier. Uh, the high risers. Uh, Fed Emnas involving everyone in that offense as uh, Paran going for that cross-court attack. Uh, perfect angle for her. Julia Ipak again. Three-point advantage for the high risers. Dina back to CC. Off speed, yes. The off speed works for uh, CC Rondina. But no question about that. Uh, CC Rondina's a lot of styles and uh, weapons on her end. Uh, but right now, we're not seeing a lot of activation in the middle blockers of both teams. Let's see if Dina Wong and Fen Emnas would change things. That's Audrey Paran, again from the open. Audrey Paran having the hot hands here on the side of the high risers. Two points now for Audrey, as Fen Emnas will serve. 12 to 9. To open up our second game in Santa Rosa. Service is in. Ball way up high. Chased by Dina Wong. There's CC. Nice block. High risers. Knowing what angles to close. Marzan with a kill block against CC Rondina. That leads us to our technical timeout in set number one. Registered now. And there you see a couple of the fans of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. May Mukapa, Lisi Sirondina in Santa Rosa. And boy, do we have a nice crowd here in the city. Exactly. That's uh, what we love about the uh, out of town uh, out of, out, out of games. You know, we get the chance to bring the teams to bring volleyball in different cities. For those of you who missed it, at some point, a couple of weeks back, we were in Antipolo, then to Batangas, then to Ilocos Sur, and then now in Laguna for our second All-Filipino Conference. Now it is Galleries Tower taking on Choco Mucho with Galleries looking good at the start of this match. Now I want to talk to you about Cici Rondina because she seems to be receiving a ton of the sets now for Choco Mucho. Do you think that she's really checked by galleries up to this moment? Oh, well, definitely. We've seen already a couple of great digs, excellent digs on the side of the high risers. Also a kill block earlier by Marzan against CC Rondina. So definitely this high risers came in prepared also in today's game. And that attack doesn't work again for CC as it was low. And right now the Flying Titans relying a lot on CC Rondina. We're not seeing a lot of variation. Well, CC though is their number one scorer approaching this match with 60 so far. That's number six in the whole league on a 37% efficiency clip. But then again, we have seen a lot of changes in the lineup of Choco Mucho because of some injuries. I think that's bothering them as of this moment. Well, that could change the dynamics inside the court. Uh, but that, that, that's hard to say because uh, as a team, uh, the system is made for everyone to work regardless of who is inside the court. 
We have a timeout. The score reads 15 to 9. Okay, ito tayo, ha? Sige, adjust lang, mag-usap lang sa gagawin. Every time na may mag-chance tayo, mag-usipo tayo sa gagawin natin, ha? Nag-iintay na naman tayo, eh. Ha? Okay, cheers, ha? Eh, chabu, chabu! It's now 15 to 9 in favor of Galleries Tower. The high risers off to a blistering start in Santa Rosa. It's not just a struggle for Chomo Mucho, but you pointed out how they have been playing, especially well on their defense. Their attacks as well. No, exactly. But also, Chomo Mucho helping the high risers a lot in this first set. They've given away already a lot of uh, free points. So they're not only giving away free points, they're actually giving uh, some confidence on the side of the high risers. That's nine free points, nine errors given up by Choco Mucho out of the 15 total for Gallery Tower. But now, it's an attack point for Caitlin Viray. So that was a great set from uh, Dina Wong, only one blocker in front of Caitlin Viray. And we know Caitlin Viray as uh, a very strong and smart attacker as well. <laughs> Deed trimmed down to five. Rondina with the serve. Katindig over received. Tough save by Ennas. That's a violation. Oh, Ennas uh, called lifting there. She had to really reach for that ball. No? Uh, CC serves again. 11 to 15. Back set this time. Paran tried to go down the line. That's outside. And we go back to Jaime Escalon. Migs and Ayel, you know, galleries came here extra early and they brought their projector to watch extra film on Choco Mucho. You know, the players told me that Coach Godfrey was extra specific during film study where to target their attacks. Might be a reason why they have a good start right now. Migs and Ayel? Well, Coach Godfrey was your former coach, right? So I'm sure you know a thing or two about his uh, film skills. Oh, definitely a lot of uh, scientific way of studying <laughs> volleyball. <laughs> Oh, there's no science in that. Great execution by Choco Mucho, leading to that point for Bea de Leon. Oh, but uh, right now, Choco Mucho showing some consistency here in this first set. 13, serving 15. Choco Mucho looking for its third straight victory. Marzan from the middle. Tough save. And a chance ball. And Nas to Marzan again. Another net touch. That's by Caitlin Viray. Uh, this is a really tough start on the Chocomucho Flying Titans, regardless if they get this set or not. Because again, they're giving away a lot of free points, and uh, as a team, you don't want to actually just easily give that much points to your opponent. That's 10 errors already for Chocomucho in this game. Dina looks and sets. And that's another point for Bea de Leon. Yeah, but uh, we're seeing better executions right now on the side of the Flying Titans. Uh, Dino Wong starting to activate their middles. Bea de Leon did not even see action in the previous game versus Signal HD. But then again, they won that in three sets. No? That's how deep they are. We haven't even seen Cherry Nudag mm -hmm. in this game so far. Mr. C. Uh, Bea De Leon targeting the number one receiver on the side of the high risers. The trim down to one, we have a timeout. Oh, you're not going to support them. 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 Oh,
Oh, that's basically the emergency button already for Coach Lerma Hiron because it's been a 6-1 to one run by Chocomucho. Exactly. That was a very technical timeout, Coach Lerma, talking about the receiving pattern and uh, wanting a faster transition from her players. Yeah, De Leon will serve again. To try to tie the ball game up. Katindig with a receive and as chases. There's the back set. And that's the idea of <laughs> Lerma all this time. Exactly. In that timeout, she said, if my paraan to actually give that ball to Doromal, and uh, that was the perfect execution, uh, Fem Emna's really forcing that reverse set to Doromal, and it works for them. 17-15, that timeout was all worth it so far as Arocha tried to score to no avail. Open tayo, Aguilar. Read well by Chocomucho. Regine again. Great net defense by the high risers. Caitlin Beray. Nice hit. No, Caitlin Beray. Is that a strong down the line attack? It's the perfect set for her to avoid the blockers. Four points now for Kate in this game. A testament as to why you mentioned kahit sino pa magsimula para sa Choco Mucho, it's not going to be a problem for them between Kate and Kat. This receive. Attack points, 9-6. to six. A chance now for the purple shirts. Arocha down the line. Oh, the down the line attacks are working well for the Flying Titans. Oh, the high risers struggling with their first ball right now, putting them out of system a lot of times. Arocha there, zone one, no one on the side of the high risers. The tight at 17 now. Service straight to Audrey. That could have been out. Here's RJ. Dina Wong to the quick. There's the chase. No more for Gallery Tower. And right now, we're seeing variation in the setting distribution of uh, Dina Wong. This time, Adansanya with an A-quick. Well, you did mention you want to see the middles. Good more for Choco Mucho. Welcome back, by the way, to Duki. <laughs> we missed her here in the PVL. Ball up by Aguilar. Here's the chase. RJ. Over Doug. Battle at the net. It's still alive. CC from the back. Oh, miscue. Oh, Chocomucho has already found their momentum and starting to control this game. Uh, CC Rondina with another off speed attack, but that credit that half that point to the great coverage, the great dig of Atang Ponte. It's now a 10 to 2 run for Caitlin Beray and company. Ball received by Rap Rap. There's the back set to RJ again. Chocomucho able to return it. Rap Rap, nice return again. Audrey back to Aguilar. Ball up. Tang Ponce to Arrocha. Off speed. Tough dig. <laughs> nice play by Gallery Tower. Again, this is what Coach Lerma was asking earlier. A faster transition on their side. Quick thinking from uh, Fen Emnas to actually give that ball to Julia Epak. Net defense and floor defense on the Flying Titans was not yet ready for that. Now we have a double sub. Ace Masangkai and Vimi Pakris will check in. There's that look in the face of Vimi. I'm sure she's very excited to go up against her former teammate in CC Rondina. I mentioned Gani Haim, in third year high school pa lang magkakakilala na sila. Uh, friendship built by playing volleyball. Here's Dina to CC from the back. Dim Dim got the ball with a smile. Here's Rap Rap Aguilar. Ball returned. Pasangkai back sits. Dimi Patris. CC. <laughs> there you go. Nice answer. Back and forth we go. Patris again. Calculating and attacking. Dina Wong to the open. Nice net defense. What a rally. One, two, doesn't work. Masangkai. Sky ball. Ponce. Wong. Girai. Ball deflected. Longest rally so far. Rap, rap, Aguilar. Down the line. That's outside. Aguilar 
wanted to choose the smaller blocker in Dina Wong and go for the hands of Dina Wong, actually. But it seems like uh, too much angle for her. But high risers with a challenge here. Let's see if there was a block touch. Was that the type of challenge that you basically used as a timeout? No, it could be. But but again, uh, Aguilar was intentional, was intentional in trying to go for the hands of Dina Wong. So they were actually hoping to at least get the slight touch on the hands of Dina Wong, but clearly it was uh, very far from that. Two point lead now for Regina Rocha and company. Attack for 62. Epop will score on the other end. And with a better first ball, the setters of the high risers can definitely activate one of their leading scorers in Julia Epak. A faster and easier outing for them in the trolley. Two points down for Julia in this game. Tough receive by Thang Ponce. There's CC with the approach. Aguilar puts it up. Asankai with the chase. Dimi against CC. Boy, it's just so entertaining to watch them <laughs> battle it out. And Dimi Pacres wins that joust. You know, when you've uh, played together for so long, when they've played against each other for so long, you just have that familiarity against your best friend. And clearly, Pakris there knowing what uh, Cici Rondina was going to do. There's a challenge on the net touch. Let's see. Let's see if there was a net touch on the side of Demi Pacres. Oh, well, that was basically the battle between two former teammates. <laughs> you know, in the previous rally, it was very clear that actually Pacres knew what CC Rondina was going to do with a tight set. So now Galleries Tower is serving with Rap Rap Aguilar. That goes outside. Our Galleries doesn't have a challenge anymore. Ah, that was a missed opportunity on their end. Uh, on the high risers as they had an opportunity there to gain some momentum and take some control over this game. Because right now the Flying Titans is just four points away from taking the set. 21 serving 19. Aduke Ogunsanya. With the honors. That goes in straight to Juliet Katindig. Masangkai, tough set. Mates could not send it through. A tough receive and tough set also. 
trying to go for that one-hand reverse set. Three-point lead now for Choco Mucho. This is the biggest lead in this game after trailing by as many as six points. The errors piled up at the start of the set, but now they've changed things, no? Here's Duki. Say to Juju. Masangkai to the open. Audrey Paran, ball deflected. Tough pancake save. CC sending it to the other side. Masangkai to Ipak. No more save for Choco Mucho. <laughs> right now, Julia Ipak, a bright spot in the front row of the high risers. Every time she gets that set, she finds a way to score a point. 20 serving 22 now. Julia Ipak and company still looking for their first set win in this conference. After losing to Petrogas, Cherry Tigo, and F2, all in straight sets. Dina Wong to the back. That's Kate Indurai. Nice take by Ace Masangkai. Here's Demi again. She's rejected by CC Rondina. Well, CC Rondina anticipated that soft touch from Pakres well. Pakres trying to just tip that over, but uh, CC Rondina reading that well, getting that uh, kill block. I tell you guys, <laughs> if there's a way that you can look at the facial expressions of these two women. <laughs> They're very entertaining against each other. As Paran tried to score to no avail. Oh, but this time, it's the high risers giving away a lot of free points to the Flying Titans. It's that sign. Dina love that? Is that right? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just sure that they love Dina Wong as Wong just had a service error. They do have a couple of set points though. Oh, the Flying Titans in a comfortable position here as uh, they are just one point away and getting reset. High Risers uh, needs to play perfect volleyball at this point. Double sub back in. Ben Emnas and RJ Toromal, the starters for Coach Lerma. Three set points. Ponce on the receive. Dina Wong goes to the open. Sisi oh. Dina. Oh, a perfect pass, a perfect set, and a perfect finish for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Only one blocker in front of CC Rondina. A lot of space for the cross court attack, a lot of power, and a lot of speed to finish the first set. He knew it with her approach. Exactly. Boy, what a way to finish set number one for CC Rondina and company. That's after trailing by as many as six points. 25-21. Streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. So in 34 minutes, we were able to wrap up set number one between Choco Mucho and Gallery Tower. Let's just go back to that narrative where in Choco Mucho gave so many errors to Gallery at the start of the set, but they were able to recover very well. Exactly. 34 minutes. It was a slow start for both teams. Both teams struggled to find their throw, to find their rhythm. And again, you mentioned that Choco Mucho Flying Titans gave away a lot of free points, gave the high-risers that confidence to rally in that first 
first half of the set, but uh, they found their momentum, talking about the Flying Titans, and from uh, there on, they controlled the game on the side of the high risers. They were very steady in the defense, but it was a matter of uh, scoring, of getting the points in, as uh, they only have nine attacks against the nine, the 13 of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Both teams struggle in the net defense, only top two for Chocomucho, one for the high risers. Both teams also struggling on the service line. We, we've seen a couple of service errors earlier. And again, Chocomucho giving away 11 big points. And the high risers also towards the end of that set, giving away three points to the Chocomucho Flying Titans with a total of nine errors. To your point, we were able to witness a total of seven service errors between these two teams in set number one. But if we can go back to the total errors of Chocomucho, they had 11. Remember, 10 of those came mm -hmm. in the first half of set number one. No. After that, it's been almost perfect for them. No, exactly. And uh, that's uh, when they were actually struggling to get that uh, good first ball. We did not see a lot of variation in the setting distribution of Dina Wong. But when they were able to get that uh, service received well, uh, Dina Wong was able to set up their middles, which was very advantageous on their part as uh, the galleries find it difficult to guard them both in the net and floor defense. And with you activating your middles, you also help out CC. Right? Exactly. DC Rondina scored seven points in the opening set. There's Duki Ogunsanya who began in this game ahead of Cherry Nunag. Bea de Leon also provided some spark for them. You know, but on the side of the high risers, uh, Pakres definitely uh, <laughs> gave the energy. Positive energy. We uh, we saw uh, the Romal earlier. Paran, Marzan, Ipak towards the end of the set, scoring, contributing the scoring department of the high risers. But then still, it uh, wasn't enough uh, to get that set away from the top of Musa Flying Titans. And so, the storyline continues for Gallery Tower in terms of not winning a set in this conference so far. For CC Rondina, the Jean Arocha and company, they're coming in on a high note as they just defeated. The Signal HD Spikers in straight sets after winning versus Farm Fresh. And that was a big win for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans as uh, they've struggled to get a win against the Signal HD Spikers. No, in a lot of their meetings from the previous conferences. The last win of Choco Mucho versus Signal. Dahil matagal na siya. Naglalaro ka pa ba nun? Yeah. Sign up ka pa nun? No, it, it was the 2022 Open Conference, I believe. They won against uh, the Signal HD Spikers against us no, in that semis. But lost against uh, Signal also in that semis. The reason why uh, they weren't able to get that podium finish as uh, CC Rondina here, the leading scorer on the side of the high risers with 8 points. And Doromal with three points for the high risers. Good start for Chocomucho in set two. Doromal answers back. And Doromal uh, showing some efficiency here in this game against the Flying Titans. Uh, they would want to uh, activate and give that ball to Doromal as much as they want. One all now, Audrey Paran. Serving for Galleries Tower. Straight to Regina Rocha, misreceived there. CC Rondina with another nice approach. A better start here on the side of the Flying Titans. CC Rondina already found her flow in this game. And you know, when CC Rondina finds her flow, she becomes unstoppable. <laughs> when you're the blocker or a defender from the back trying to stop CC Rondina, kapag nakita mo ba yung approach niya? <laughs> You know, you just know it's going to be a one powerful attack with that explosive approach. <laughs> a nice net defense there by Gallery Tower. As now, we go to Jaime Escalon. Migs and Ayala, I heard you guys talking about Tang Ponce early on in the first set. Where I actually talked to her before the game and she's, so, she's, she's such a light to be with. When I ask her, bakit ka inspired lately? She jokes around and says, hindi ako inspired, expired ako as she bursts into her own joke. But all jokes aside, it's joy that draws her teammates close to her, like Isa Balde and Caitlin Paray. It's also that same joy to, sabi niya, to why she feels less pressure in performing in big PVL games such as these. Now, for only 149 pesos a month, you can continue to watch Tang Ponce in the Filipinos Live app. Mugs and
There's the Tang Kuatsu taking a breather. We saw also Coach Tai, no? Mm -hmm. Earlier. I want to ask you this. In volleyball, madalas natin pag-usapan yung good vibes mm -hmm. yeah, to, you know, enjoy the game. Do you actually need a funny teammate to help you out on the court? You know, you don't really need it because it's not part of the skills, but you would want to have that teammate because it brings in a very positive energy. And when things are already difficult, when there's a lot of pressure, you need that teammate to lighten things up. Oh, that's an overset. Battle at the net. It's won by the high risers. Oh, but uh, the high risers here definitely came in prepared in today's game. They know how to challenge this flying titans. They're trying to argue something. Now there just seems to be a wet spot on the floor. All right, so no more issue from the side of Galleries Tower. It's RJ Doromal who will be serving to try to get the lead. Sharp serve over receive. Chance now for the high risers. <laughs> Bit of a scramble. Ipa, an early Christmas gift. No, Ipak looked like she was uh, off timing there in that uh, A quick attack, but works well for them, disrupting the timing and the defense of the Flying Titans. 4 to 3 now, Gallery Tower with the advantage. They led by as many as six in set number one. Miss received there. Arrocha with the approach. Ball kept alive. Back set to RJ. Whistle blown. Head touch on Duki. Here we go the, with the errors again. 11 errors in set number one for Choco Mucho. Oh, and it's important for them to reduce that number of errors if uh, they want to easily get the second set. Dina Wong, top set. Back to Regine. Ball dug up by Audrey. And here comes Ipak again. Tang Ponce keeps it alive. Caitlin Birai, nice down the line hit. It really shows that that down the line hit is uh, one of the strengths of uh, Caitlin Virai as uh, you see that uh, dominant attack there. Sindain actually knew about this. Mm -hmm. The big space also in the uh, net defense of the high risers. There's two key, no more recovery there. I'm seeing faster transitions this time on the side of the Flying Titans. Dina Wong activating the middles early on in this set, and that's gonna help them all throughout this set. In terms of uh, staying, not so predictable in terms of offense. Five all now. Back set to the slide. Ball kept alive. Dina Wong. Here's Caitlin from the back. Net at the net. And that's a point for the Black Shirts. No oh, better net defense this time on the side of the high risers uh, guarding the right angle of uh, Caitlin Virai. Umaba pa yung arms ni Rap Rap dun, no? Is that actually a good idea? No, could be. Uh, she read that attack well, but this time, uh, Dina Wong outsmarting three blockers in front of her going for that one-two play. That's the first one-two conversion of Dina Wong in this game. Oh, but also, you know, Dina Wong as an offensive setter. She can be a bit tricky also in those one-two plays. Great timing for her, great decision for her to go for that. Six all in set number two. Aguilar with the receive, one of the best in the league. Bit of a scramble, Dina Wong. Back to Kate. Ball deflected. Put up by Doromal. Ennas to Paran. Tough angle there. Tough angle and tough set also. And Ennas apologizing to Audrey Paran. See it happen. <laughs> he saw it in the face of Audrey. He did not do anything about it anymore. Seven serving six. Chocomucho with the lead. Katindig receives. Emnas to the back. Ball kept alive. Tino Wong pushes and scores. 
You know, quick thinking uh, by Dina Wong there. You know, a lot of teams, uh, they really have the tendency to move forward in the, the defense pattern. And the main reason why there's always the hole in the defense pattern, you know, in the corners of their court. That's back-to-back -back points now for Dina. Aguilar with the receive again. And here's Audrey. Met at the net to no avail. A better set this time from Emnas to Paran. Paran maximizing the gap in between the blockers to get that point. Gallery Tower just keeping at it with Choco Mucho in this game. Exactly. They've been keeping it close. And uh, we mentioned it earlier. The high risers are coming into this game no, without uh, winning any sets. Uh, they're coming in as an underdog. So meanwhile, the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, uh, they've been uh, consistent. They're coming off a back-to-back -back win. So definitely more pressure on the side of the high risers. And the latter of those victories in the back-to-back, -back, it was against Signal HD. Exactly. They're doing this with a couple of players missing as well. They also shuffled their middle blockers. Duki did not even play in the previous game alongside Bea de Leon. But they're the ones doing the damage from the middle in this game. Paran rejected again. No, oh, and on cue, Bea de Leon uh, getting that kill block. No, they read that well. Paran going cross court, but uh, De Leon making sure she closes that angle. Agunsanya will serve again. 10 serving 7 in set number 2. This is the biggest lead so far for Choco Mucho in this set. Marzan will trim it down to 2. The middles of the high riser. So can really be this impact players on their side just when they get that good first ball. You know, Epak and Marzan have been contributing, has been really trying to stay efficient in today's game. Those two combined for five points already for Gallery Tower as Virai attacks. That needs the corner. You know, Virai continues to do damage on the side of the high risers. But zone 5, uh, the down the line hit, still no adjustment in the net and floor defense of the high risers. He just really loves that angle, it was Kate. As Dina Wong serves, miss received. Here's RJ Duromal, ball sent back. Katindig, back to RJ, that's long. Uh, Duromal saw two blockers already in front of her, just trying to spin that ball in but uh, too much angle and power for her. Dina Wong serving once more. They're up by four off of that wide attack. Here's Fed Emnas. The push by Marzan. Read well by Choco Bucho. Cici Rontina is denied. Back set this time. Caitlin off speed. Oh, smart play for her. Varying her attacks. Just going for the top of speed. That will lead us to our technical timeout in set number two.
try to listen in to our huddles. about Caitlin Viray starting and playing ahead of Kat Tolentino. We haven't seen Kat mm -hmm. in this game so far. She has eight points. No, but again, no, we keep on talking about that in this game, uh, that the Chocomucho Flying Titans, they have the luxury of uh, choosing who to field in any of their games because anyone put in is able to contribute. And, you know, it's a tough choice, Caitlin right. Vera and Kat Tolentino, but uh, both players very efficient and very capable of uh, contributing points on the side of the Flying Titans. That actually makes me wonder about their practices, because you play with your first unit mm -hmm. teammates no, and your second unit teammates during your practice, so they can actually go deep, first unit versus second unit at alam mong matchup yun. Exactly, and that uh, makes them become better players, elevate their game, because you know, both sides of the court are great and has the ac skills actually to stay competitive. It's now 9, serving 13, bit of a scramble there, Aguilar. Treating the ball like Halloween candy. Mm -hmm. Didn't put a lot of power. Taking advantage of that overpass. Just spinning that ball in in a certain angle. Works well for her. Talking about Aguilar. Here's Audrey Paran. With three points so far to her name. Tina Wong sets up the middle. Ball kept alive. Back set. RJ. The rally continues from the back. That's low for Regina Rocha. Oh, that was actually a good decision for Lina Wong to go to Arocha. All the front row attackers was not ready or out of position. You haven't seen a CC attack, no? Mm -hmm. The past couple of sequences. 11 serving 13 and set 2. Tough chase. Chance ball. Sundayan. Emnas to the quick. And, oh, that's tough net defense by Rap Rap Aguilar. A lot of great coverage in that sequence, but Verai there taking advantage of that overpass. Aguilar knew that she was going for that, but uh, there was, she was a bit far from the net to get that uh, soft touch. 14 to 11 now. Chance ball for Chocomucho. Dina Wong looks and sets. Combination to Kate. Ball kept alive. Another chance. Cece. Dina. Regine. Yes, ma'am. Oh, the zone one. That spot is really the, a weakness in their floor defense. They have a timeout for Coach Lerma. Okay. Una una yung back row attack, yung back row defense natin. No? Nandito kayo, okay, makinig kayo. Kayo din ay mag natin, tapos hindi naman kayo makikinig. Back row defense natin, masyadong masyadong atras. Okay? Tapos yung palo, yung depensa natin dito, masyado rin naman pasok. Hindi niyo napapansin lahat ng goal pero kung bigay nila dito sa dito. Huwag tayong pumasok, depensa tayo ng maayos. Kung saan man ang spiker niyan, protectahan natin muna ang line. Again, kailangan Coach Lerma Hiron seems to be a very specific coach, no? No, it her timeouts are very technical. Not a lot of you know appeal to emotions, of words of yeah. encouragement. It's, it's really all technical. As in the timeout, we heard her talk about their defense pattern. You just have to make sure that you're listening to her. Rundina <laughs> <laughs> uh, got a service ace. That's the fifth ace of CC Rundina in this conference. Oh, serving. Is cute. Between Sundayan and Paran.
Dina is in the top five in terms of serving in the league so far. That attack goes to the corner. Let's get it this time for the high risers. And again, it has been the middles of the high risers that are actually very efficient in today's game. The reason why Coach Lerma really wants that good first ball because you can only set up the middles if you get, you know, a stable first ball in. It's now 12 to 16 in set number two. Aguilar with the approach. She's rejected. Pushed there by Bea. Emnas. There's Audrey. Her push. Dina Wong to the open. Regina Rocha. Ball recovered by Gallery Stower. RJ almost scored with the help of the net. Rondina from the back. Rally continues. Aguilar. Ball way up high. Dina Wong. Pipe attack, off speed. Ball put up by RJ. Mayan, chance ball given up for Chocomucho. Back set, Caitlin. That's outside. Oh, that was a long rally. Great, great defense, great coverage from both teams. Virai trying to go to the same zone. Just too much angle for her in the previous sequence. Well, Gallery Tower did also talk about that in their uh, huddle, no? Mm -hmm. uh, Choco Mutra has been really going down the line. Mm -hmm. And again, still no adjustment on their end in terms of defending that angle. 13-16. Ball received by CC. Here's Regine. Reflection set up to the back. That's a back set, as I should say. And then a quick attack from Bea de Leon. Oh, that was a very dominant AQ attack. As uh, Bea de Leon using her height and her length. The ball, Get that point. The ball is still in front of Bea and Esguera. And it's a bit hard now if you're a middle blocker to try to go low. Exactly. 17 serving 13. Just one point away from the biggest lead of Choco Mucho in set number two. Aguilar to the back. CC was there. Dina Wong to the open. Nice hit by Regine. Again, Choco Mucho continues to go down the line. A lot to there. Seeing that gap, seeing that space, seeing that force in the blocking pattern. No, these are the times where in, uh, I get to wonder if there's a statistic as to how many down the line <laughs> hits already. You know, there have been from the Chocomucho side. Oh, well, that strategy has been working well on the side of the Chocomucho. Recovery to the purple shirts. Nice net defense by Julia Iba. Oh, but that cross court attack definitely is well guarded by the high risers. This time, the right trying to go cross, but uh, Iba guarding that well. No coverage on the side of the Chocomucho flying Titans. Four points now for Julia Ipa. That's her first block point. Regine Arrocha. Off of the blockers. Arrocha powering through two blockers in front of her. Choosing uh, Fen Emnas there, the smaller blocker, to get that point. This is the Regine Arrocha reminder game to everyone that she is this good. 19-14. Mm -hmm. 19 -14. Ball up by Gallery Stower. There's the slide. And the ball sails outside. Oh, but uh, right now, it's very clear. Chocomucho Flying Titans controlling the game. This is now the biggest lead of Chocomucho in two sets. 20, serving 14. Caitlin Viray. That's out. <laughs> Oh, but the uh, chance here for the high risers to get some momentum. Chance for them to close this five-point gap. 15-20, misreceived. Nice save by Kate. A chance now for Gallery Tower. Emnas to the slide. Ooh, great dig. Arocha sending it through. Net touch. That's a point for Chocomucho. Oh, that was actually a great execution on the side of the high risers. Emnas to Ipak, but a ton of points. 
on the perfect spot to get that dig. The gallery tower will be challenging that previous net touch call. Might as well use this time to huddle up. They're down by potentially six points. Let's see, was there a net touch? Ayun. The left arm of Julia Ipa. Then again, we only have one timeout, right? For each coach in each set. That's why they sometimes use the challenge as a timeout. As Catonitino checks in for the first time. Same goes for Jem Perel. Catonitino started versus Signal HD. Played in three sets, scored 14 points. So now you have Catonitino and Cici Rondina as your options if you're Jem Perel. You know, the two leading scorers in that their game against the Signal HD Spikers. Audrey Paran to the back. Rocha was there. Back set. Filipino. And looks like she will score off of the check. No, not the best of sets to Kat Filipino, but uh, you know, with her height and length, definitely found a way to st still get that point. Biggest lead increased to seven points for Choco Mucho. 22 serving 15. Here's Regina Rocha. Service goes in, a sharp serve at that. A very sharp serve there from Arocha. Going to the better receivers of the high risers, Aguilar and Dormal. A miscue there also. They're both the players. Biggest lead extended to eight. Regine again. Starting ahead of Des Cheng. Well received, but not a good receive by RJ Dorobal. Well, back to back service aces for Arocha. Puts uh, the top of Mucho Flying Titans to set point here. Six points now on uh, those two service aces as well by Regine. 24 15, nine set points. And thus. To the running player. Ball kept alive. Got Tolentino. Tried to go cross. Battle at the net. That's off of Kat, but it went outside. Oh, great decision for Paran there. Tolentino all over that the ball already, but the Paran just knowing what to do also, using the hands of Tolentino to get that point. Now Carly Hernandez will be serving for Gallery Tower. That's how important these last points should be for them. Exactly. There's uh, no room for errors here for the high risers. Hernandez with the honors of being a service specialist. Better to the quick. And that ends. Set number two in favor of Choco Mucho. Oh, great set and great angle there for Duque Agonzania. Switching her angle in that last second. A oh, perfect way to get that point, to get that second set to the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. It was actually a bit tight to start set number two, but there was a big time pull away by...
Experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. Well, it's now two sets to none in favor of Choco Mucho against Gallery Tower. A more dominating show in set number two for the Flying Titans. Well, definitely they started better in the second set. Talking about the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, they stayed consistent. They maximized that hole in the, the defense uh, pattern of uh, the high risers, that down the line angle. They got a couple of points um, in that department. Uh, meanwhile, the high risers, they tried to rally, they tried to stay close in that second set. But, uh, you know, the separation happens in the middle of the set. So the high risers, uh, they need to find a way to get those uh, necessary adjustments and to stay consistent. The high risers also have the issue in their receipt but they need the first ball so they can translate it into better offense as the Chocomucho Flying Titans still dominates in the attacking department. They have 17 against the 8 of the high risers. Uh, both teams really trying to do well in blocking in the blocking department. High risers with 2-1 for the Flying Titans but again the Chocomucho Flying Titans really did well in the service line really putting pressure in that receiving pattern of the high risers and for Chocomucho uh, Good for them that they were able to minimize their errors into just six, but the galleries also minimized their errors into just four. Just a complete package of improvement for Choco Mucho mm -hmm. in set number two in almost all categories. Exactly. They reduced their errors to almost half, and then their attacks were a plus four. There's Bea de Leon leading the way as the team captain of the Flying Titans. The shuffle has also been present for Coach Dante Alinsunurin. Well, everybody has performed on the other end. Let's see if Isa Jimenez and the rest of Gallery Tower have something to say about uh, set number three because they still haven't won a set, no, in the conference. You know, they've been doing well trying to keep it close, uh, uh, really trying to challenge the Chocomucha Flying Titans. But if they want to extend this set, they need to find a way to translate their good defense into a better offense because right now, uh, that's one department that's really lacking for the high risers. It's uh, their scoring, it's their attacking. As uh, clearly, uh, the Chocomucha Flying Titans has uh, dominated uh, that department so far in this game. Sisi Rodina is now enjoying the moment with the Chocomucha Flying Titans. Again, we want to give our... Uh, Respects to women like Des Cheng, of course, get well soon to her because of that ACL injury. Isa Molde is feeling under the weather today, but she is going to be good to go eventually. We're happy that we're seeing a couple of uh, familiar faces for Choco Mucho. Uh, you know, Captain Birai has performed very well starting in today's game. Katunitino did have her moments in set number two, but it looks like Caitlin will begin set three again. Micah Ortiz now will make her first appearance in this matchup. No. Si Micah ba naging kakampi mo? Naging galaban? Naging galaban naging for sure. Naging galaban. <laughs> Pero kampi hindi. But you know, Ortiz also one of the better middle blockers, you know, in this league. A uh, veteran on the side of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. I remember, to my memory, she was crucial in that Cherry Tigo Championship run. That was the bubble conference. So now we will begin set number three in Santa Rosa. This is the second All-Filipino Conference for the PBL in 2023 because of the love that we share with our fans. The PBL has decided to go to places. Antipolo, Batangas, Ilocos Sur, and now in Laguna. Uh, Sisi tried to score. There's the push by Rap Rap. Ponce back to Rondina. Ball kept alive. Here's Isa Jimenez. She crossed the line. Oh, but great defense there again on the side of the high risers. Uh, Rondina with uh, two powerful attacks in that. Uh, Previous sequence, but unfortunate for Jimenez to commit that error. This is the first appearance of Isa Jimenez in this match. She also came off the bench against F2 in their previous outing. <laughs> and Dina with a service error. We haven't seen the Dimi versus CC matchup, no? 
in set number one. No, a bit of that in uh, the previous set, but set number one. Yeah, better set two, wala. Yes. Let's see if that will happen again in their reunion game. As Rap Rap Aguilar is now getting ready to serve for Gallery Tower. It's one all in set three. Tang Ponce with a nice receive. Caitlin Birai is rejected. A great adjustment this time on the side of the high risers. Bombita guarding the down the line hit of uh, Caitlin Virai. Well, that's one moment that we missed, Grace Bombita. Obviously, her left knee is still bandaged, no? Makapal kapal pa yung balot. No, but offensively, uh, Bombita also can be very unstoppable. Dina will set up Pea de Leon. Met at the net. Here's Cece from the back. And that's uh, open. Bombita. That's a nice hit. Not even the highest of elevations. As Rondina's hit was low. No, Rondina a bit quiet in today's game. It has been uh, Caitlin Virai on the side of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Virai has nine points. CC, even though she's quiet, she remains as a scorer no? <laughs> for Chocomucho with 10. Here's Arocha again against two blockers. Emnas. Attack from the middle doesn't work. Arocha pushing. Ball kept alive. Emnas to Bombita. Met at the net. And that's four touches. So great defense there, but the high riser is scrambling in that last sequence. So Mike Ortiz will now make her first appearance on the floor. Coach Dante really shuffled his middle blockers in this game. We haven't seen Cherry Nunag. Madi Madayag did start with Duki. Emnas, back set, Isa. Recovery there by Micah, and the ball is still alive. Here's Isa again, net at the net. Emnas, back row hit. Off speed, Regine Arrocha breaking down the wall. And now, let's break down our walls as well <laughs> as we go to Jaime Escalon. Mix and Aya, you know, in that break between set number two and set number three, it was Coach Godfrey who did most of the talking. And one thing that really popped out was he didn't want to see any more down the line spikes. And that's why a lot of the attention for those uh, that break was towards the middle blockers, the adjustments that needed to be made in set number three. Let's see how they adjust here in this set. And don't forget to download and subscribe the Filipinas Live app for more volleyball action for as low as 149 pesos a month. Mix and Aya. If I can connect the two reports of Jaime as you get to see this service ace by Bea de Leon, I can only imagine how much time they will spend on uh, film mm -hmm. to try to guard that uh, down-the-line hit oh, next well, time around. Definitely a lot, but more than that, what's very important now is uh, them getting that adjustments in and executing it right now. A better transition there on the side of the high risers. Uh, Jimenez with a cross court attack. Well, they have been in this game, mm. especially at the start of the sets. Now we're tied at four. Let's see if Gallery Tower can be consistent or can they actually play better as we go along. Dina Wong will open up. Arrocha against two blockers. Ball up. Free ball. Ponce. Wong. Back row hit. CC Rondina. Rap Rap putting it up. Back set. Isa Jimenez again. Oh, tough attack there by Jimenez. Going for the sharp cross court attack. Oh, really avoiding the blockers there. And she's been going cross for the past couple of sequences. Exactly targeting zone two. Leon Esquera. Serving straight to CC. Dina will go to the opposite. Tough dig there by Gallery Tower. CC puts it up. Dina chases. Back set to Kate. Another tough dig. And this time around, no more chase for the high risers. A lot of power in that attack of uh, Caitlin Verai. Aguilar is actually in the right spot to defend that. Just uh, too much power for her to contain. 
So now Caitlin Viray is the new leading scorer for Choco Mucho with 11 points. The head of season is 10. Caitlin serves. Oh! What was the problem there? The set or the timing of the middle blocker? No, it could uh, be both also for the middles and the setters. Connection is very important for them to be able to meet at a certain point. Clearly that time, it's a miscue between, you know, Fem Emnas and Julia Ipak. Six serving five. Caitlin sending it in. Tough chase by Emnas. Not the best angle there for Grace. Exactly, Grace Bombita out of possession to spin that ball in. Miss contact also on her end. Right now, Chocomucho starting to control this set. Coach Lerma had some words for Grace Bombita to challenge her as we move forward. Caitlin Viray, 11 points to her name. Katindig with the receive. Jimenez, ball way up high, returned to Gallery Stower. They send it to Grace. Here's Dina, on to Regine. Nice net defense by the high risers. Oh, Jimenez has been uh, the impact player on the side of uh, the high risers, uh, starting in this set and already contributing a lot, not just offensively, but defensively as well as uh, you see that kill block of her. Three points now on two attack points and one block point by Isa Jimenez. Six serving seven. There's the slide, and that's long for Michael Ortiz. A lack of risk action there from Ortiz. She had the right thing in mind uh, to go across. Oh, she really hit the ball with all of her might. Uh, Jimenez proceeds to the service line again. Seven all in set number three. Ball up by Regine. Here's Dina. Back to Arrocha. That's low. Well, the contact is low for Arrocha. Not the best of sets also. No, again, the high risers, they, they do a great job keeping it close. No leading one to two points. But then for them, it's really a matter of consistency. So right now, it's the challenge for them. How can they consistent in this set? There's a violation there in favor of Mike Ortiz and company. There you go. The test of consistency has already begun for the high risers. Eight all, Regine Arrocha with seven points to her name. She has two service aces already in this matchup. Regine sending it to Juliet Katindig. Here's Grace from Pita again with a nice hit. Oh, better offense this time for Grace Bombita. Oh, we know her as a power attacker, uses a lot of power. Oh, this time maximizing the gap in between the blockers to get that point. But because she doesn't jump as high, at least to this day, no, what type of compensation does she have to do? Well, definitely she has the upper strength to still be able to break the block in front of her as she did that earlier, but this time a smarter move by Aguilar. Just spinning the ball in, avoiding the blockers, targeting a certain zone that works well for them. It's a two-point game here. High risers ahead by two points. The goal is still alive for Gallery Stower in terms of getting their first set in this conference. Now there's a violation at the net. For galleries, you know, but uh, for the gallery star high risers again, he talked about their consistency. And right now, they would score a point, but then they would commit an error next, and uh, that's something that they really need to work on in this set. It's now nine serving ten. Mike Ortiz will be serving. This is her first serve in this match. Oh, and it's an ace. No, instant ace there for Ortiz. No, they've been targeting Aguilar in this game, really trying to challenge her in that uh, receiving. And again, Rap Rap is supposed to be number two mm -hmm. in the league in reception. Exactly. At a 45% efficiency rate. Here's Rap Rap, could not score. Emnas, tough set. <laughs> it works for Julia Iba. <laughs> 
Oh, Julia Ipak. She's been really good trying to adjust on the sets, really trying to find a way to score points. Oh, that time just uh, dropping that ball behind the blockers. No coverage on the side of the Flying Titans. Five points now to the name of Julia Ipak. Ball received by CC. Kick that toe. There you go. Another easy outing for CC Rondina there. Sguera late in trying to close the block. Lot of space for CC Rondina to go cross court. Rondina Wong serves. It's 11 all in set number three. Rap Rap readjusts. Ball up by CC. She's going to get it again. Tough dig by Juliet. No more chase for Rap Rap. A great transition of uh, CC Rondina from uh, defense to offense. Big buelo din talaga siya, no? Kapag siya yung unang nakatanggap ng ball. No? Oh, she knows how to time it well, that approach. It's now 12 to 11. Joust. That's one by man. Let's get uh, already out of position there. Still found a way to score that point using the hands of De Leon. 12 all. In set number three. Yes. Gallery Tower with Ben Emnas approaching the service line. She will send that ball to Sisi. Dina Wong back sets. Caitlin. Ball kept alive. Dina this time. Sisi on Dina. Cherry bombs away. Again, not surprised that CC Rendina can do that. She will send us to our technical timeout. Watch the PBA 3X3's second conference this year, every Monday and Tuesday, only on One Sports, PBA Rush, and Filipinas Live, PBA 3X3, Lakas ng Tatlo. When we do, thank you for joining us live on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and on Filipinas Live for your matchup between Chocomucho and Gallery Tower. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Ayel Estranjero and Jaime Ascalon. Cici Rondina has 13 points, the top score for Choco Mucho. They have Kate Tindiray, who has 11 points as well. Tang Ponce, let's give a shout out to her, with 16 digs and 5 receptions. But uh, the woman who has been distributing that ball well is Dina Wong. She has 11 excellent sets so far in this game. Right now, it's Denden Lazaro Revilla on the court, ahead of Tang Ponce. And there's Grace Bombita seeing action in set number three, trying to be the magic bunod for Coach Lerma. But so far, it's been uh, Isa Jimenez, no? Who's been that magic bunod. 13 serving 12. Emnas back to Rap Rap. Denden was there. She hurt herself a bit. Regina Rocha could not score as of yet. Emnas pushing away her teammate. Ball up by CC. Rondina from the back. Wow, tough dig. And no more chase for Isa Jimenez. Yeah, steady defense also on the side of the Flying Titans. Uh, Lazaro Revilla there earlier and uh, even Cici Rondina with great dig. Cici Rondina ending it with that attack. 14 points now on 11 attack points 
for CC Rondina. Whistle blow. A positional fault for the high risers. The most anticlimactic point that we can have in volleyball. And we've talked about this earlier, the high risers keeping it close in the start of the set, but you know, Chocomucho taking control from the middle towards the end of the set. So the high risers, they need to find a way to really stay consistent and, you know, not allow Chocomucho to get that big gap if they want to extend this game. Three-point lead now. Isa Jimenez breaking down the wall. Again, the bright spot of the high risers in this, in this set. It has been Isa Jimenez. What's crazy to think about is the fact that Isa Jimenez is one point away from tying as the top scorer of Gallery's Tower. And he's only played in this set. Here's Rap Rap. Sending that ball straight to Regine. Parocha. Back to Rap Rap. There's the push by Grace. Ball up by CC. Dina to the quick. And no more recovery for Gallery Tower. Well, Dina Wong with some luxury here. Three uh, attackers right now in the front line of the Flying Titans. As we see this replay, a quick attack for Bea de Leon. And we have a timeout. 16 to 13. Inside the Santa Rosa City Sports Complex. It is jam packed. Of course, as they are enjoying the action, the fans here for PLDT versus Next Led. PLDT won in four sets. Now Chocomucho is looking for a straight set win versus Gallery Tower. Later on, we have a good game in F2 versus Petrogas. Bea de Leon has six points. A three point advantage now for the purple shirts. Straight to Rap Rap. Emnas to Graze. Wow, what a hit. And uh, we really know her as a power hitter again. Graze Bonita, a lot of strength in that risk action. Uh, Cici Rondina was in the right spot but could not contain that attack from Bombita. Napapalakpak na lang siya after that play. 14 serving 16. Dina out to Regine. Nice coverage by Thang. Arocha again. Down the line. Again. A smart move from Arocha going cross court earlier, switching things up. Just putting the ball in, targeting zone one. Great wrist action there by Arocha. Nice to see the smile again from Regine Arocha after she got the start for Coach Dante in this game. That's a long service error. A chance here for the high risers to close this gap. 15 serving 17. Gallery Tower just sticking with Choco Mucho. And there you see Catalentino who saw some action in set number two. It's a service ace for Isa. Isa Jimenez having an all-around game so far from attacking, from defending in that net defense, from the first ball, and now contributing from the service line. Jimenez has five points all in set number three. Three from attacks, one from a block, and one from an ace. But now she gives us a service error. Man, that has to hurt. For galleries. As now Masangkai and Pakris will check back in. Again, the last time that we saw them was it set number one. All right now, and the high risers uh, want a complete front row. They want more offensive options in the front row. Let's see if we can see that CC versus Demi scene again. Rocha serving to Juliet. Masangkai to the quick. Oh, Ball up by. That's Caitlin. Here's CC. 
again with a down the line hit. Uh, easy outing for CC Rondina. Uh, going down the line there, beating the blockers, uh, targeting that hole in the floor defense of the high risers. That's now 15 points to lead all scorers in this game. For CC Rondina, eight points on the other hand for Regina Rocha. Ball received by Juliet. Masangkai back sets to Grace. Well, Grace Bombita starting to find her flow here. A great set also there, going down the line. Grace will now be serving. Four points to her name. Service goes straight to Regine. Dina will set up CC. And she finds the corner again. Yeah, the same spot for CC Rondina. No, they've been maximizing the hole in the floor defense of the high risers. Now, Mike Ortiz will be serving. It's now 20 to 17 in set number three. Masangkai goes to the open. And Rap Rap will score. That's off of Caitlin Viray. Gallery just giving themselves a chance no, here in this set. Exactly, just uh, really trying to keep things close. Or challenging uh, the Chocomucha Flying Titans here. We've seen a lot of sets like this, wherein you just pre-program behind for the whole set, and then eventually you find yourself with a run towards the latter part to win the set. Let's see if Gallery Tower can do something like that. Pedro de Leon challenging the defense of Grace Bombita. Well, so far, it's been a collective effort on the side of the Toko Mucho Flying Titans. Uh, Ina Wong activating all her attackers. That's eight points for Bea de Leon, eight for Regine Arrocha, 11 for Virai, and 16 for Cici Rondina. And Bea scores again. Oh, Dina Wong. Going to Bea de Leon twice. Bea de Leon giving justice to that set of Dina Wong. Oh, we have a challenge. Or a net touch. by Coach Derma Hiron. Oh, clearly. No, they needed that to regroup. 22, serving 18 now in set number three. Dimi with a push. Back set to Kate. Juliet, nice dig. There's Rap Rap. Met at the net. But the ball went outside, so that's a point for Gallery Tower. Oh, the high risers are still alive in this set. Oh, Gilar there, putting a lot of power in that attack. It's now 22 to 19. The Magic Bunot checks back in in Isa Jimenez. She has five points all in the set. Then Emnas will be serving. Down by three. The high risers still looking for the first set victory in this conference. Service to Ponce. Combination. CC Rondina. A timely combination play there for the Chocomucha Flying Titans. A great pass from Ponce. Oh, Bea de Leon uh, getting the blockers. Oh, great outing for CC Rondina. 
CC is now up to 17 points in this game. That adds up to her 60 in total approaching this game in Santa Rosa. Lazaro Revilla to Captain Lentino. Ball up by Carly. And Nas to the open. Wrap, wrap. That's long. And no check called, but it looks like Coach Lerma will be challenging this. Let's see if there was a block touch. Oh, there is no? Oh, wala. Apparently, wala. Coach Dante has a big smile on his face. Wonky na bakit siya na wonky doon. The challenge was unsuccessful for Coach Lerma. We have five match points for CC Rondina and Choco Musso. CC has 17 points, 10 digs, and seven excellent receives. And the service area. Must have a chance here for the high risers. But uh, again, no room for errors for them. Flying Titans already at match point. 24 to 20. Rap Rap Aguilar will be serving for Gallery Tower. That serve goes straight to Tang Ponce. Tino Wong, Captain and Tino will finish things off here in Santa Rosa. Oh, Captain and Tino with an easy cross court attack. Just the right amount of power and spin to finish this game. Not as many minutes for Kat, but no problem because uh, the contributions of King in the right. CC Rondina and company. Again, this is the testament to the depth of Choco Mucho, even with a couple of absences to their squad. It's a dominant.
Player of the game, CC Rondina, 16 points, 13 attack points, at siya pa naglagay, sabihin ko daw, 10 digs, sabi ni CC Rondina. First of all, CC, congratulations. Medyo off to a slow start kayo nung set number one, pero nakabawi kayo, tapos nanalo kayo ng three straight sets. Ano yung nagbago doon sa set number one para sa'yo? Uh, kanina, uh, sinimula lang talaga namin magtrabaho, and sinabi ko, sinabi ko din na um, ayusin namin yung galaw namin, and sabi ko din, sabi namin na kontrolado namin yung game. Kaya, ayun, uh, pag gumalaw naman kami, pag nag-usap kami, nananalo naman kami. Kaya, yun. Alam mo, alam mo, Sisi, nag-enjoy yung fans sa showdown yun ng best friend mong si Demi Pacres kanina. Kamusta yung experience na yun na nagkalaban kayo ulit after a long time? May happy ako sa kanya kasi uh, nakita niyo naman na uh, for, for the longest time na hindi siya makalaro. Nakita natin siya ngayon and uh, grateful for the uh, high galleries na tinanggap siya and naglaro siya and nagperform siya and happy for her. Ano mga may gusto ka pang batiin na mas sumusuporta sa'yo? Yes, binabati ko po pala yung mga tao dito. Uh, binabati ko pa rin po yung papa ko na nasa Cebu, si Ate Karen. Yung ate ko na nasa Canada, si Mama sa Mindanao. And binabati ko si Chris Jair ng happy anniversary. And binabati ko rin po yung um, national, national, national team ng beach volleyball sa mga coaches ko. Hello po. And there we have it. CC Cherry Bomb Rondina, our best player of the game. Makes an AL. Thank you, Jaime. And I'm sure, Ayel, you want to give shout-outs to other players of Chocomucho in this game. You know, again, uh, for the Chocomucho Flying Titans, it was not their usual uh, starting six. De Leon, Nagunsanya, Ortiz, Arocha stepping up big in today's game. But uh, Dina Wong with 14 excellent sets. Bang Ponce really leading, really being that leader in their floor defense with 17 digs and 7 ex excellent receives. Again, it was an all-around game for all the players, a collective effort on their end, but the galleries also really tried to challenge them they kept it close but towards the end you know that's where they, they lacked a lot and offensively the flying titans just uh, dominated that game but uh, really kudos to the galleries for keeping it close against a uh, very dominant team and the chokumucho flying titans by the way before we forget a belated happy happy birthday to sang ponce who just celebrated her birthday two days ago and this is a nice gift for her with that all-around performance by his squad in dominating fashion mm -hmm. allowing galleries to still not win a set no in our conference Ayel, our final numbers no but uh clearly chocomucho flying titans uh dominating uh, the attack department with 45 against the 28 of the high risers a very big disparity there in that department both teams Trying to get the soft touches, trying to get the kill blocks. Five for the Chocomucho Flying Titans, four for the high risers, but the Chocomucho Flying Titans also dominating in the service line, really challenging the first ball of the high risers. Both teams committing a lot of errors, especially in the start of the sets. Well, what a way for Chocomucho to bounce back and get that victory against Gallery Tower. Well, the action does not stop here because up next we have the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers taking on the Petrogas Angels. Thank you for joining us for Jaime Escalon and Ayel Estaniero. My name is Mix Gomez and stay tuned for more of your premier volleyball league, the heart of volleyball. Interesting yung question. Lagi sinasabi sa amin, lagi lang kami sa champion pag reinforce. Mahirap bumuo ng ganong klaseng core. Laging parang konti na lang nandun na, pero hindi pa rin naaabot. Oh my God! <laughs>